Now, the fifth India-US 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue has begun in New Delhi. The talks were held between India's External Affairs Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin. The meeting between Blinken and Jay Shankar was held at Hotel Leela Palace and was followed by the 2 plus 2 ministerial talk at the Sushma Swaraj Bhavan. This meeting, this visit of yours, I think has a particular significance because uh, one, uh, we need to follow up on the Prime Minister's June visit and the President's coming here in September. So there's a lot of bilateral stuff we need to do. And two, of course, we, this is the two plus two, so we take a broader view of what we're doing. And then, of course, uh, as squad members, there's the Indo-Pacific that we're focusing on. And finally, we look at global regional issues, and I think what's happening in West Asia, I mean, at least to you folks. Uh, that, I think, is a very big concern right now. I look forward to discussing those and other matters with you. We are promoting a free and open, prosperous, secure, and resilient Indo-Pacific, including by strengthening our partnership through the Quad with Japan and Australia. Uh, one significant way we're doing that is by enhancing maritime domain awareness, sharing commercial satellite data with countries in the region, to boost their capacity, for example, to combat illegal fishing, piracy, drug trafficking. We're also coordinating humanitarian relief and disaster response efforts in the Indo-Pacific. The India-US bilateral relationship has seen a growing convergence of strategic interests and enhanced defense, security, and intelligence cooperation. Defense remains one of the most important pillars of our bilateral relationship. Your visit to India is at a time when India and the U.S. are closer than ever before. We're meeting at a time of great momentum in the United States uh, and India, and India partnership. partnership. In the face of urban, uh, urgent global challenges, it's more than important than ever that the world's two largest democracies exchange views, find common goals, and deliver for our people. We've made impressive gains in building our major defense partnership over the past year, and that will help keep us, help us contribute even more together to the cause of peace and stability. We're integrating our industrial bases, strengthening our interoperability, and sharing cutting edge technology. The scope of our cooperation is vast. As our ambassador is fond of saying, it stretches from the seabed to space. The 2 plus 2 dialogue was launched in 2018 to boost defense cooperation and align policy objectives in the Indo-Pacific region. The dialogue is providing a platform for top-level discussions between the United States and India. Critical bilateral and global matters are being addressed. Special emphasis is on the developments unfolding in the Indo-Pacific region as well as the Israel-Hamas war. At the ministerial talks, educational collaboration between the United States and India was given prominence and a call for educational exchange was made. Earlier yesterday, Defence Secretary Lloyd Austin arrived in New Delhi for the talks as well. The discussions will now pick up from Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's successful visit to Washington in June, as well as President Joe Biden's trip to New Delhi for the G20 summit in September. For more on this, we're now being joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibyl. Siddhant, thank you so much for joining us. What can you tell us of the top issues on the agenda of the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue? Well, uh, there are several issues on the table, um, from defense to space, uh, from people-to-people uh, uh, -people issues to, of course, uh, global issues like the uh, West Asia crisis, the Ukraine conflict. But... Essentially, this is a relationship that has seen increased momentum, you pointed out, and we saw the comments made by the ministers as well, the visit of the Prime Minister uh, to Washington, the President of the United States to Delhi for the G20, and of course, uh, an expected visit by the U.S. President in the month of January to Delhi to be the chief guest at the Republic Day Parade. Now, essentially, we know that both sides... Um, uh, while having a lot of convergences, do have divergences as well. Ukraine conflict is one such issue. And, of course, there are thorny issues like the visa delays as well, mm -hmm. something that was mentioned by the U.S. Secretary of State Blinken at the 2 plus 2 opening statement. 
Uh, absolutely, Sidhan. Now, when we talk about the developments unfolding in the Indo-Pacific region as well as the Israel-Hamas war, what can you tell us about the discussions on those fronts? Well, on the Indo uh, on the Indo-Pacific, we know that there is concern over China, and both sides have a lot of convergences on that aspect. Uh, the aggressive actions by the Chinese and uh, both sides, part of the war, um, have been working in a lot of ways, uh, especially on. Uh, making sure that there is capacity in the region. The second, of course, is the Israel-Hamas conflict, the war. Uh, and uh, again, there is strong convergences. India and the U.S. both were quick to condemn Hamas uh, for their actions, uh, the terror actions uh, in Israel on uh, 7th of October. And both sides have restated the two-state solution. So uh, it shows that how Washington and New Delhi, two big, large democracies, are working together in dealing with global challenges. All right, Sadan, thank you so much for the latest on this. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.